Greetings and welcome, it's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the Gnome for All Zone, guys. I am glad you're here. It's kind of late at night, I couldn't sleep, didn't feel like watching TV, didn't feel like doing any of those things, so I figured I would come down here and do some painting. Come down to my happy place. A friend of mine, a lot of you know, Sweet Gilly Coob from Australia, Queensland. Hi, Gilly girl. She asked me a question the other day. Uh, she had a flower growing in her yard and she knows that I used to own a landscaping company and she reached out with a picture and said, oh, please, Kathleen, can you tell me what this is? And it was a beautiful helleborus and I'll post a picture of it so you all uh, know what I'm talking about, those of you who are not gardeners. And all the green hues and the milky whites and the iridescent of uh, this flower just made me smile. So I took a picture of it, or made a copy of the picture of it, and I came down here and I thought, you know what? Let's get our Helleborus on. <laughs> now, I am not a green girl, and you guys know that. But um, I'm gonna try to do some Helleborus colors, which are just so chartreusey and greeny and creamy and interferency and all kinds of good things. So let's talk about our paints. Our canvas today is a 16 by 20 gallery wrap canvas and I chose this because I have a really pretty um, floating frame that I got from Jerry's Artorama that I want to stick this canvas in. So our base coat, I thought about just doing white or pearl but I found this uh, Art Mine Sea Glass and I mixed that up in the container and it was a little bit too sh sherberty, I guess is a good word. And so I added to it some iridescent pearl and then I added to that some interference green. So it has a really nice kind of sheen to it that changes color as the light hits it, so it hits it a little bit different. So that's our base coat today. Now our pouring medium is what it usually is, which is 75% golden, excuse me, 75% Floetrol and 25% golden GAC 800. Now everybody asks me why I use the golden uh, GAC 800. I do it for several reasons. It's archival and it protects your painting if you choose not to varnish it. Some of my paintings, I like the way they look without any kind of sheen to them. So it protects it from light and dust and you can wipe it down. But it also helps with cracking and crazing. So it's a really good product to add to your pouring medium if you're able. I know it can be a little bit expensive, but you don't need a whole lot of it. So that's why I use the golden. I'm sorry, my, my little tray here is pushing up against my tripod and I think it's causing my camera to shake. <laughs> Let's talk about our colors down here. This first color is Jadet by Deco Art Extreme Sheen. This next color is Folk Art Color Shift, and this is the Emerald Flash. Getting our greens on. <laughs> this right here is Interference Green by Golden. This guy right here, which is bright and fun, is Golden Green Gold. We have our Iridescent Pearl by Golden. And this yummy fellow right here is DecoArt Extreme Sheen Emerald, but it was a little bit too bossy for me, so I went ahead and added a little bit of the Golden Iridescent Pearl to it. So we've got about an ounce of this and just a couple of squirts of this. Just 
add that second paint slowly, stir it up with the first paint until you get that color that you're looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and get busy, prepare my uh, canvas here, and uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do. I'm either gonna do a florally swipe or I don't know, a ring pour. I'll figure it out as I go, guys. Thanks for joining me. Be well, be safe, be happy, stay busy, guys. Mm -hmm.